Hello YouTube, Show T5000 here, hello Spartans, and welcome to RCT3 Let's Play 2014 episode 8. And today I decided I wanted to have a theme park. Well, it was, it was a choice between that or a free full drop, but I decided F Ferris wheel would look a little better. But I am going to have a free full drop in this park and I've been playing ahead. So, uh, big news this morning SG Striker Custom Scenery Depot has gone down again. Well done. You had one job, and wow, this is amazing. I suppose it's like the third time or something it's gone down. Anyway, so, uh, bottom line, I was trying to get hold of some CFRs this morning and was getting nowhere because I couldn't get us anything. So, uh, happy days. Anyway. So, uh, what we're we doing? Well, what I'm build is doing a platform. Once again, we've got a double episode job, double build today. Two episodes filmed this mo in one shift. I'm getting quite proud of myself, actually. So, anyway, what we're we doing this episode? Just, uh, straight Ferris Wheel Plaza and, uh, not much else. I didn't notice those floating stairs, but I'll address those later. Right now, I have I had other stuff in my mind. So at first I decided I thought I'd go to Coast of Joe's and I just thought, actually, no. So, uh, well, on the whole, everything was going reasonably according to plan. So I was just pl filling in warm and I said, hmm, balustrades? I really didn't know that I was doing this, but later on I decided I want to kind of shrine underneath a roof. Also, you may get a chance to look at uh, like look at the new entrance, but I don't know if we're going to get a chance. So, uh, in advance, here it is, and back to the time lapse. So, uh, real time this episode, you may notice it's a little bit longer than usual because I was so into this, I spent 54 minutes building, and then filmed another 35, and then filmed episode nine, which is 35 minutes long. And coastal will probably be coming in maybe. 12 now, I reckon. Actually, no, possibly 11, because 10 I reckon I can fill in the two... Because in 10 I reckon I can do the two, uh, fill right, two right, two flat rides I'm going to put in, then uh, 11 or 12 I'll hopefully be able to put in a roller coaster. And uh, I know you've all been asking me and giving me ideas, and I can confirm, I actually chose this before it was suggested, B&M Sit Down. So that's the kind of style I'm going to use. I haven't built one in a long time. I feel it's time to amend that statement. I've only actually done one. Think about it. I've only done one this year. So I thought it was time to amend that. Anyway, so it's definitely going to have some path interaction. I've been drafting up some ideas in my head, and I think I know where I'm getting. So, right here I was trying to do a shrine, and I thought the whole ball thing would look a bit better as kind of a shriny thingamajig. So, on the whole, I, I thought this was looking good. I tried to put some vases in, but at some... Well, I was here, but later on I just decided it just wasn't working. Anyway, so, I, at this point, everything was going pretty much according to plan. Nothing was hitching up. I'm amazed the game hasn't crashed yet. So I'm trying to use all the space I have in the park, because obviously, but I'll see what I can do. I'll probably use some thinner paths or something, or maybe do so, maybe narrow up the river. Oops. Yeah, at the end of this episode, I did up some serious terror, some serious terror terrain business. So I thought, hmm, I should probably delete those. So I went, so I went for, so I went for the columns, obviously, because. So this is all looking good. Now I've decided, hmm, wait a minute, I've, I'm on a roof above like the whole waiting thing. So anyway, I started placing columns again. I noticed they were, the, they were the wrong height, so I went for the two H ones. And so far I thought this was looking pretty good. Then I decided to just go for some arches because... And now look at it, it turns out I missed one. I shall amend that off camera. 
So I, I was just looking for some roofs to put in and just thought, hmm, nothing fancy. Then I, then I think I kind of contradicted that when I went little, when I did some other stuff with it. Then I thought, hmm, that's boring. So I went for a kind of relief, so kind of like a bridge down the middle. I'm actually amazed I managed to keep my head in check for this long. I guess the house only I'm building, I just keep, I just turn the radio on and keep it playing. So it's kind of got for a similar color, similar color scheme we had at the entrance, kind of the gold and red. So I decided I was happy with that, but for the then I decided I wanted some pots along the top, which is where I put the kind of thicker posts. So this is all looking good. Now I said now I went to find the post site in this place and then just went back into the station gym set. And I was trying to find the plant I liked and I remember these look good. So this is all looking good. Nice classical theme. Then I decided around the back, then I decided that around the back, I know, then I noticed those were kind of closing so I realised I had to amend this. But I'll admit, I was having some str trouble with the wall, working with Moby's walls. I did manage to find what kind of fit in as a support for them. But, uh, oh well. So far this is all going well, like, this is the only way I could actually make them fit. So, I, th I thought this was looking pretty good. Uh, well, let me think. I think, is there any other news I've missed? So if someone could pop me a shout when show guys will come when Custom Scene Jeffrey comes back online, or unless it has by the time I've uploaded, I'll, I will check obviously. But anyway, so on the whole, I thought this was looking quite good. I was really, I really, I must say, I'm actually really getting into this whole theme park thing. So I was trying to find find some curveballs that aligned to that, but I was like, hmm, nah, better idea. Yeah, I decided to go for this kind of thing. So this is all. So I thought, hmm, that's looking good. Now let's do the same on the other side. So I had that all fixed up. I was trying to find some soil things to place in it, but nothing would fix. So I was just like, bugger. So I went through the whole set, and there was nothing there. So I was like, oh. Well, I tried doing some stuff and looking through. Uh, oh, what was it? Well, I tried coast to path extensions, but even that couldn't help me out. So obviously save the game because as you do. So then I decided, hmm, I want some kind of like a planter around the back. So I went for that. Then I realized I had the wrong path edge and amended that. So this is Shy's Planters 2, and then went to Shy's Planters 1 and just did like a brick wall along the along the along the top of that. So I thought this was all looking good. Then I decided, hmm. Picket fencing? That should look okay. So I naturally had to fix up the colours and just find the right alignment and then got it. I changed it all to just brown colour. Also, uh, I can conf now confirm, now can safely confirm what two of the coasters in this park are going to be. One, as I previously mentioned, was a BN and sit down. The other, I'm not at will to say yet, but it is one I've been wanting to do for a long time. So right here, I went back into the CCRS paths too and started going for the soil thing. But on the whole, I thought it was looking quite good. Let's see. So I imagine upload time is probably going to be around 11 o'clock in the morning. And uh, speaking of uploads, I will make a new channel trailer sometime. I just can't promise when. I might. Oh yeah, uh, that reminds me. Uh, I've got, I'm here. I'm in London this week and next week. But then uh, I'm going away up to North for about three weeks. So I'm going to be without internet and therefore no uploads. I will. Tr I shall try and film film episodes accordingly, but I can't make any promises. So I, I was just doing a flower bed. Now I said, right, half edges. So I got going on this and so I naturally took, went curvy style because curves are good, I guess. So. I was, so I was trying to like make it match up, line up with the outside. Then just went, for, then just found, and I almost had it done. I was wondering whether I spent too long on this, but if I'm honest, I think it looks amazing. And also, uh, speaking of well, just stuff, uh, I am really, I am very much appreciating the support you're, you're, or you guys give me through, the, through this project because it is 
Well, I'm actually going quite used to the regime of guessing out filming a time lapse or two and just and then just editing. So I very much appreciate the support you're all giving me for this, because by my scale, this is a monstrous project, and I am not. And for the record, I am not cutting anything out of this. So I decided, hmm, I want to, I want the, I want a river back here. So I actually kind of planned in advance how I wanted the river to line up. So I was lining it up around here, because I wanted to have kind of our Roman theme on, on the left hand side and the Alpine section on the right, from this angle. I have them separated, or maybe I have the coast to go over them, probably not actually. So I got rid of my water, accident, and accidentally, and decided, hmm, I want to get some curved edges on water. So it's kind of really two rivers merging into one. So right here I was trying to work out the alignments, now I thought, hmm, do I want to fill that in? Actually, then I changed my mind again, so I decided to ra raise the terrain up and just delete it. So I went for the 4x4 again, so I noticed it came out, stuck out, so I had to lower that on the square. Then I finally had my decent alignments, except that I noticed there was a little blip under, under the 3x3. Under three three. I was just like, uh, really an issue? I could probably just fill that in with something, with something or other. But I had more pressing matters, I had to try and find something and fill in the gap. I thought, remember, I know, Shai's plants have got some excellent stuff. But I decided where I looked for plants too, and I just went, you need brick walls and plants as well, do. So I thought, so I filled in the walls and I thought, hmm, that looks good. So then I got to raising, raising the terrain on a similar style for the other corner. So this is all looking good. Well, I was thinking it was looking okay. Oh, we got left in this recording. Okay. Still got about a minute. So on the whole, I thought this was looking quite good. Because I was just feeling and getting a nice curved thing. I really wanted to try and push up my RCC3 skills to the max. I also decided I wanted the path going underneath the bridge. So I had to get, so I had to literally get underneath it. The pre-look camera. Then I went back to normal. Also, in case you can't see it, I've chopped off a load of stuff off the top, off the top of our entrance building. So, yeah, uh, about 45 seconds left. Then I decided, hmm, I was, I decided I wanted to carry on the brick wall, and I had Shire's Main Street 3 or some good stuff. So I was going along like this, and just placing them in, but except at some point when I zoomed out too much, I think. Uh, yeah, I was there. I noticed they gl they were glitching. So I done it. I was like, do I want that? Do I want that? So I was just like, you know what? Actually, I think that's better. So I was just like, screw it. So I went on a deleting spree. So anyway, uh, next episode we're just going to be fixing up pathwork. It's pretty much all pathwork next episode. So anyway, I'm Shelter for Thousand. You're watching our stupid let's play, and this is usually.com/slash/marshmallow. Oh.